Greetings, 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 everybody. Peace and love. It is your favorite girl, Isis. And I know it's been a minute since I did a live video. Um, so I'm super excited about um, sharing some tips and some things that have been helping me through a retrograde. So I'm excited to be sharing that. Um, if you're just getting on, go ahead and please just drop where you're listening from what state, what country, what planet, what dimension, um, before we dive into this, because um, what inspired me to make this video is um, I've been feeling the intense energy of the retrograde, and I know we're all connected, so you be, you've been feeling it too, and I've been seeing people post different things on social media about how they're feeling, so I was like, you know what? This would be a great time for me to kind of just share, you know, what has helped me through this retrograde and um, how I see this retrograde this time around just, you know, being a gift for me. Like before, I didn't really get too deep into the whole retrograde thing. I was like, ah, oh, you know, it's, it's if we all believe in it, it's, it's going to happen. But the truth of the matter is, it's happening. The planet, it's like six uh, planets that's, you know going backwards and I apologize if it's a little loud I'm in the store right now but what that really means just to touch on what it means if, if you've been hearing people talk about um, mercury retrograde or just retrograde period and you really didn't know what, how that makes you feel um, just know that right now in your life you're probably in, uh, facing um, challenges that's coming up from your past or also just facing things, facing off with yourself, having a face off with yourself and just addressing and facing things that you've been keeping, you know, in the inside. Um, we tend to, you know, keep things in the inside and don't really express it. But here's one thing. You cannot hide from the truth. <laughs> you cannot hide from the truth. You cannot hide from... Um, who you are, how you are, like that cannot be hidden. And so, you know, having retrograde during this time is a gift because it gives you the chance to recognize the things that you are hiding from and address it so that you don't have to feel in shame or feel have to feel in uh, doubt or weary and confusion. Um, like right now, I know me personally, I was experiencing just a little bit of like, not feeling grounded and not feeling balanced just so many different things happening and so one of the things that i've been doing and i think it really can help you out is just grounding like really just taking some time to yourself and being quiet um going out to the park putting your feet into the ground um and just imagining yourself being firmly in alignment with your purpose with your true authentic self that has really just been helping me um you know one of the things that's been helping me get through this retrograde because there's a lot of distractions um you know there's a lot of people around you that's distracting you that you may not see and you may not know you know you have people around you that's sucking up your energy and just in your life for not genuine um for not genuine you know genuine genuine reasons and so you know, see the people for who they are and release them gracefully and move on and, and send them ashe and send them love on their journey because evidently you manifested them in your vortex for a reason, you know. So one of the really uh, other cool things is as you're going through this, all these emotions coming up and these feelings coming up and this confusion coming up, um, a really great book that has been helping me out <clears throat> excuse me, through this uh, retrograde is um, the four agreements. The four agreements have been so powerful during this retrograde period and I highly recommend you know, if you're going through the fields and you're feeling this energy of the retrograde you should be playing the four agreements like over and over religiously. Um, the four agreements are four principles um, that if you follow to the T, I promise you it will change your life. And one of them that I'm going to speak about today is not taking things personally. When you take things personally, it goes to your heart 
and it causes you to have heart chakra balances, I mean, um, blockages. So um, we have to practice um, the law of non-attachment, not being attached to anything, any person, any situation, or any type of outcome. Because when you're attached, attached to things, situations, people, places, and there's a change in that, um, you get really emotional about it and you can't think clear about it. And, you know, your performance um, starts, to, starts to change up. So, um, like I said, the principle is don't take anything personal. So don't take anything personal in the sense of whatever people say about you. Um, because the truth of the matter is, you know, people are going to talk and people are not going to agree with you. And that's okay because nobody was rocking with Jesus, right? The principle of Jesus. So um, just don't take it personal. Um, everybody right now is on this human journey of uh, being the master of themselves. So, um, you know, a lot of times people don't like themselves or their situations. So instead of owning up to them, we want to look to the outside. So just don't take it personal, whatever it really is. You know, you go to work the next day tomorrow, somebody says something to you to, to work tomorrow, try your best not to take it personal. Because when you take it personal, you are feeding in to the energy. When you take it per personal, you're agreeing, right? And also remember, when you're taking it personal, you are um, hitting on that hot heart chakra. And at this moment right now, in this beautiful, 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 phenomenal um, chaos, right? There's going to come order out of the chaos. And we want to really align ourselves and stay in alignment with the energy that's coming to this planet right now. Because it's given us a chance to go back and pave the way for a new blueprint. So definitely take advantage of it. Um, keep your heart open. Keep your, um, you know, if any type of grudges or anything you have or resistment, resentment for anybody, just really um, at this time, release it. Release it. Release it so that you are able to also bring in uh, the good energy. I wouldn't say really good or bad because there's no such thing as good and bad. But... Align yourself so you're able to harness this energy that's coming in and transmute it um, in a type of energy, transmute it and using the type of energy for things you want to manifest in your life. Because this is also the time for um, new beginnings, ushering new beginnings, ending old cycles. So that's why right now in your life you may be experiencing old cycles being released, um, people being released out of your life, uh, people dying in your family um you know your best friends falling out like all of these things are normal and you can't fight the flow of it so if people leave let them leave because it's clearing the way for the new and if somebody has transitioned from this earth do your grieving and feel because you are human but in the same instance, everything is alignment. Everything is laid out the way it's supposed to be. So you have to find some way to grieve, but still be in alignment and in harmony with your true purpose. So, um, you know, I wanted to really just come on here and just, you know, be transparent and just share with you guys some of the things that I'm, I'm experiencing. Because I think, you know, most of the times everybody wants to uh, share the, the bubble gum and ice cream. Um, you know, type of things on Facebook, but they never want to give you behind the scenes of like, like what's really going on. Um, and so what I would close with is, um, by you releasing all things that no longer serve you, let's say it in this now moment, I am now releasing all people, all situations, all agreements, all past karmas in this now moment that do not serve my higher and greater good, right? So just continue to repeat that because one thing's for sure, and, I, and I'll wrap it up with this, one thing's for sure is that when you do release and you do let go, everything falls into places. Promotions come, the right people come, right? The right situations come. 
So you need the quote unquote bumpy roads and the hard times to be able to transform into your new self, right? So stick with it. I know it's bumpy. I know it's rocky. Um, I know things are being shooken up. But shout out to Latoya Drummond for just really speaking life into me yesterday and um, just reminding me my power, my ashe, my gift, my divine purpose here on this planet and not to let things distract me because there are going to be things, people, places, situation that's put in play just to distract you, just to take you off of your path. And so I just am so thankful right now to have the right heart space and mind space to not getting shooken off my square to stand firm in what I believe and what I am so I challenge you guys to do the same very thing I hope you have a amazing Sunday I'm going to go to a sacral chakra um, pool uh, meditation so I'm super excited about that so I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your Sunday and remember that it's almost a couple more days and the retrograde is over Get that book, The Four Agreements, and do not take anything personally that anybody says or does, all right? Peace and love, family.